Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm your trusted Toyota resource where I show you how to use buttons and controls and really cool gadgets and systems. So today we're gonna look at the color head-up display on Toyota vehicles. I'm in a Highlander Platinum all-wheel drive. This is gonna be fun. And for this demo, we're gonna be doing a lot of our driving in the mountains of West Virginia, this is beautiful country here, and it's a great place to test out a head-up display. Right now, the speed limit indicates that the radar cruise control is ready to be used if I wanted to use it. I'm going about 66 right now, but the speed limit is 70. So right now, we've got our cruise set at 72. We're going 60 right now. Let's turn on the radar cruise control gonna set our speed right here at about 73 the other thing I can do is if I turn on my lane departure alert that activates the lane tracing assist and then you can see it's going to keep me centered in my lane so that I don't stray to one side or the next Another safety feature is if I do go outside of my lane, it guides me back into my lane and then we get the visual and the audio tones letting me know, hey yo, you gotta get over. Back into your lane, boy. If you notice, the color head up display changed to 70 miles an hour to indicate the new speed limit which corresponds with what you see on this display here. I would not like it with a funnel. I would not like it in a tunnel. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. This is one of two tunnels that you go through. It's amazing. The whole idea of a tunnel it's crazy because right now I'm underneath a mountain Welcome or I'm in a Virginia. mountain. I love that. She said, Welcome to Virginia. When we're setting up the head up display settings, we go to the multi information display here and we'll go across our keypad down to the settings cog right here and then we'll go across. Hold that down, and then we can adjust the brightness. Just like that. We can adjust the position. We can adjust, well, we can't really see it right now, but we can adjust the display down further or up further, depending on where you're sitting in your seat, if you're taller or shorter, like that. And then we can do our driving support. What kind of information do we want to see? On our tachometer, do we want it blank? Do we want it to show eco information or RPMs? And then you can have navigation off or on, driving assist, lane departure alert, radar cruise control, our compass, that might be valuable on a road trip, and then the audio, do you want your radio information to be displayed? And then let's go to rotation. That just means that you can rotate it kind of curve it clockwise, there's my hand, clockwise or counterclockwise, like so. I think we'll probably leave it just as it is though. And I noticed on the drive that there was a smudge right where the color head up display is, so we definitely need to clear that off. Welcome to the Jeff Teague Travel Blog Show. Holla. Don't you guys dare make fun of my streaks. That was relatively smooth. All right, let's head out. Keep left and then left turn. There's an idea of how the navigation works. Shows us where we're supposed to be going. Your eco score here is a good indicator of how you're doing by gas mileage. So you want as less green as possible or as little green as you can get 
when you take your foot off the accelerator like this, it goes all the way down. So when you accelerate or go up a hill, it's gonna go up higher and you know you're probably not maximizing your fuel economy. I'm gonna take my foot off again so you can see what I mean. Nice. For some reason, my navigation wants me to turn off at this exit. I'm not gonna do that, but it's a great example of head-up display. Good morning, Meow. How are you today? I'm good, Meow. Thanks, Steve. Have a good day. Thanks. Have a great day, Meow. Meow. Name the movie. My head-up display is going to show you audio also. It's going to tell you what satellite station you're on. For example, right now it's on 90s on 9. But what happens if we change it? 70s on 7 it says, 80s on 8, 90s on 9, Pop 2K, Howard Stern, and back again. So you see friends, the color head up display is a great way to be able to see information about your car. It's all information that you would normally see while you're on the trip, but you'd be looking down at your steering wheel or your information display, or maybe even the multimedia touch screen in this case, it's right in your line of vision, so you're not as distracted, and eventually you do get used to the fact that the information is really in your windshield or extended through your windshield, but you don't really notice it much at all anymore. I believe there's a term that says, what goes up must come down. Holla! Folks, many of you have driven many times in the mountains. Some of you live in the mountains. I know you do. But if you never have, you've got to experience it at least once. Doesn't matter if it's on the East Coast or in the Rockies. You have just got to experience this. I've probably been through this mountain range probably 50 times in my life. And it never, ever gets old. You know, the handling on this car is amazing because it hugs the corners. It's really tight when it needs to be, but then it opens up on the road when you're going straight. The way the default works on this one is unless the radar cruise control or lane departure alert are on, then it's going to be compass. So let's take off the lane departure alert. Let's take off the cruise and see the compass comes up. And this is helpful. You know, some people love having a compass. For me, I've got navigation, so it doesn't matter to me which direction I'm pointed. I just go where my ways tells me to go. However, some people love it, and then this will tell me that I'm going south, southwest. And this is the second tunnel. Welcome to North Carolina. hey -o. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned a little. But more importantly, I hope it was fun and we got to learn about the head-up display. So what do you think of head-up display? Do you find that it would be distracting to you or do you find that it would be very useful? To me, it's incredibly useful. I love it. I love the information that it shows. The most important thing for me is the fact that I can see my speed right on the windshield and I don't have to look down to see what I'm going. So I'm giving it thumbs up. Toyota Jeff approved, and a holla. But anyway, thank you guys so much. What'd you think of the mountain drive? Do you like different kinds of scenery in my videos? We gotta mix it up a little bit, and what better way to do it? Pure Americana, right in the mountains, totally fun. So thank you guys so much. Please follow me on Instagram at Toyota Jeff one Follow my writing on torquenews.com slash Toyota. I really appreciate you all. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of gray. 
four purple mountain majesties above the fruited plain. Runaway truck ramp going down. Hope I never have to see it using. Somehow I'm gonna deepen me.